Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create dynamic gradient. So we, we knew how to create gradient. So now we are going to select dynamic gradient. So here this is a vendor number which is static because this thing is. Now we want to create our dynamic gradient. What we can do, we will click the same thing, we click save. And now here if you see, here you can see the different selection variables. So here what I want to do is probably the value I want to see open at key date. Okay, so I'll change this and I will say it would be dynamic. Okay, so here I'll go dynamic date. Okay, the moment I do that here, you will see a bunch of options that are coming. So you can say current date plus minus first day of the current month nth day working day of current month first day of the next month and so on and so forth so suppose i select first day of the current month let's see what it really happens so here what i'll do is i'll put another name and we'll say dynamic gradient and this is very helpful because you might have a job that needs to run based on the current month first day of the current month something like that okay so here if we see I think I don't know what I will say to it. Uh, let's click. See here the date changed to 5 1. Okay. Now suppose I want to change the clear items. Okay. So let me see. I'll put the all items as posting date. So let me see all our items. Here is the posting date. Okay. So here I'll do the same. I'll select dynamic. Okay. And here you can put the table variables for T bar C and all those things. But if you don't have that, you can use this. So dynamic date here. And here we will say, um, let's see, posting date is. Here you can see current date from plus minus, last day of the current month, last day of the previous month. So I can select inclusive, exclusive. So I say select exclude select specified value. So I'll say last day of the current previous month. So equal to is not equal to or we'll say less than equal to. Okay. So I want to see everything. So I changed it now. Now save it and it will say whether you want to you know I'll change the variant. So saving. Yes, do you want to override the variant here? You can see now I'll select this and I'll select this test one three. You see 430. So this is very, very, very useful because you don't expect to change the variant in the night because these jobs run in the night. I don't expect you to wake up every night and change this variant according or create different variants for each date. That's a mem that would be a big mess. So you can create dynamic variant using this and this works for every transaction code that has this button and generally we use it for the date piece or you can use it for you know the vendor vendor account number and other stuff whatever you can think of. so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great and safe day